folks, and welcome to another edition of the Brockport Golden Minute. I'm Bradley Barlow, along here with Mackenzie Felicia, recapping this weekend's events in Brockport sports. Mackenzie's going to kick it off with soccer. Thanks, Brad. Saturday afternoon, the men's soccer team played Oneonta in the SUNYAC tournament final game. The men fell short to Oneonta 3-0, but have a possible bid for nationals. Congratulations to the boys on their great season. Football won a barn burner against Morrisville on senior day by a score of 49-27. Freshman Rashad Baker gave Brockport momentum in the third quarter with a pick six to even score at 21. The diaper dandy also sealed the game with another interception late in the game off the Morrisville quarterback. Dan Andrews continued his prowess with five touchdowns on the day. Brockport travels to Buff State for the season finale for the I-90 Bowl. Saturday night, the women's volleyball team beat Cortland in the semifinal of the SUNYAC tournament. In Sunday afternoon, the ladies won the SUNYAC tournament, beating the number two seed New Paltz. Senior Kayla Barber had an outstanding performance in both matches, earning her the SUNYAC tournament's most valuable player. Congratulations to volleyball on earning the SUNYAC title, and good luck in the NCAA tournament. Definitely a big congrats and good luck to them. It's a crazy student section that day. But we're going to go over to hockey. Hockey split this weekend against Morrisville State, losing 4-1 to on Friday and winning 8-7 to on Saturday. Rob Hall scored his first goal of the season in Friday's loss, and on Saturday, Chase Neuendijk led the way with a hat-trick in win number 150 for Coach Brian Dickinson. Hockey is back in action Friday at Geneseo. Wrestling also competed this weekend at the competitive Binghamton Open against the likes of Army, Penn State, and Cornell. Sean O'Hagan was a star of the night, winning two matches against the Division I competition. That will do it for the Brockport Golden Minute. I'm Bradley Barlow, along like always with Mackenzie Felicia. And thank you for tuning in and join us again next week.